you are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Hello, I'm Artifacts Mars, and what you're seeing is the West Coast edition of the American Communist Party Party's propaganda sheet, just as the New York Times is the East Coast edition of the American Communist Party's propaganda sheet. Our dishonest president. I'm not going to let this one go. Uh, it was no secret during the campaign that Donald Trump was a narcissist and a demagogue. That's a lie. He used fear and dishonesty to appear to the worst of American, appeal to the worst of American borrowers. That is just a blatant out and out lie. Uh, he appealed to what we want as far as getting his country straightened out. Times called him unprepared and unsuited for the job he was seeking and said his election would be a catastrophe. I'm sure you did. Still, nothing prepared us for the magnitude of this train wreck. Like millions of other Americans, we clung to some hope that the new president would turn out to be an all-noise and bluster or that people around him in the White House would act as check on his worst instincts. In other words, turn him into a liberal, or that he would be sobered and transformed by this awesome responsibilities of the office. In other words, they wanted him to turn into a liberal. Instead, seventy some days in, and with about fourteen hundred to go before his term is completed, it is increasingly clear that those hopes were misplaced. In a matter of weeks, President Trump has taken dozens of real-life steps that they are not reversed, will rip families apart, meaning illegals will be deported, foul rivers, and pollute there, which means he's uh, reigning in the EPA, which was needed to be done for a long time, intensify the calamitous effects of climate change, which is nonsense, and profoundly weaken the system of American public education for all. That's utter BS. In other words, he wants to get rid of Common Core, which should have been done a long time ago. It's a piece of garbage. His attempt to de-insure millions of people who have finally received health care coverage in a long way, and act a massive transfer of wealth from poor to rich, has been put on hold for a moment. That, that is a big lie. There's so many lies in this, I'm only going to go with one or two liar liar pants on fires, otherwise I'll be interrupting the video f every two seconds. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. But he is proceeding with his efforts to defang government's regulatory agencies, good, and bloat the Pentagon's budget even as he supposedly retreats from the global stage. He never said he was going to do that. That is another lie. These people are lying constantly. There are immensely dangerous developments which threaten to weaken this country's moral standing in the world, imperil the planet, and reverse the years of slow but steady gains by marginalized and impoverished Americans. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but chilling as they are, these radically wrong-headed policies are not, in fact, the most frightening aspect of Trump's presidency. What's more worrisome is about Trump is Trump himself. He is a man who is so unpredictable, so reckless, so petulant, and so blind, so full of blind self-regard that untethered to a in reality, it is impossible to know where his presidency will lead or how much damage he will do to our nation. Unbelievable. We had eight years of a dirtbag who caused an unbelievable amount of damage to our country, and these people never mentioned anything. His own obsession with his own wealth, fame, and success, his determination to vanquish enemies real and imagined, his craving for adulation. These traits were, of course, at the very heart of the scorched earth 
outsider campaign. Indeed, some of them helped get him re-elected. But in the real presidency, in which he wields unimaginable power, they're nothing short of disastrous. Although his policies are for the most part variations on classic Republican positions, many of which would have been undertaken by President Ted Cruz or President Marco Rubio, I don't think so. Especially not Rubio. They would have be they become far more dangerous in the hands of this imprudent and erratic man. <laughs> Many Republicans, for instance, support tighter border security and tougher response to illegal immigration. But Trump's cockamamie border wall is impractical campaign to promise to deport all 11 million people living in the country illegally as blithe dis disregard for the effect of such proposals on the U.S. relationship with Mexico turned very badly, turning a very bad policy into an appalling one. <sighs> In the days ahead, Times editorial board will look more closely at the new president with special attention to three troubling traits. Trump's shocking lack of respect for the fundamental rules and institutions in which our government is based. Since January 20th, he has repeatedly disparaged and challenged those entities that threaten his agenda, stoking public distrust of Central institutions in a way that undermines faith, faith in American democracy. Uh, yeah, he's pointing out corruption, is what they're saying. And uh, the LA Times does not like his point, pointing out corruption. His utter lack of regard for the truth, whether well, it is easily disapprovable boast about the size of his inauguration crowd or his own. Substantiated assertion that Barack Obama bugged Trump Tower, new president regularly muddies waters of fact and fiction. Actually, that's already been proven that Obama was involved in that. There's no question. My, Obama is, was a petty dictator. It's difficult to know whether he's actually can't distinguish from the real, the real from the unreal, or whether he intentionally inflates the two to be fuddled voters, deflect criticism, and undermine the very idea of objective truth. There's so many lies in this op-ed that I can't deal with it. The scary willingness to repeat alt-right conspiracy theories, racist memes, and crackpot out of the mainstream ideas. Again, it's not clear whether he believes in them or merely uses them, but to cling to disproven alternative facts to retweet racist, retweet, retweet racist, to make unverifiable or false statements about rigged elections and fraudulent voters, to buy into discredited conspiracy theories first loaded on fringe websites and supermarket tabloids. Those are all piece with Obama, Barack Obama, birther claptrap that Trump was peddling years ago, which brought him to political prominence. All right, I'm going to stop it here. There's so many lies. This article, this op-ed article is so packed full of lies that, God, even a serial liar would be embarrassed by this. Uh, excuse me, LA Times. Trump's doing exactly what he promised to do. Me so many of us have been clamoring to get that border sealed. Because we know that's where most of the drugs come from. We know our country is being invaded. Barack Obama left it wide open. Hologram Hillary would have left it wide open. But you sons of bitches, 
Well, there I use the word. You, uh, jerks. You unbelievably dishonest jerks. You are... You are compulsive liars. Compulsive and habitual liars. And then you call Donald Trump a liar? No, he's been honest about everything he's intended to do. The only place where he's dumped was on health care, and that uh, may be changing eventually. There's already talk about, uh, you know, a new plan and still getting rid of Obamacare. See, you people want leftists and liberals in there, and some of us don't want that. We want our freedom. And there's an old saying about uh, liberals, which applies, by the way, to L.A. Times. Inside the heart of every liberal is an authoritarian waiting to get out. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I am disgusted. Thanks for watching.